2025 Hyundai Tucson Hybrid. Starting at $34,000 EST. Highs. Fresh take on the already sharp styling, hybrid and PHEV versions are quicker and more efficient than standard Tucson, the return of physical knobs for HVAC and audio. Lows. PHEV battery takes a bite out of cargo space, EV only range is merely average, not the most efficient hybrid system in the segment. Verdict. The Tucson Hybrid is better than the standard Tucson in every metric, and you only pay a small price premium to access its charms and added fuel efficiency. Overview. Though fuel efficiency is the headline that the 2025 Hyundai Tucson Hybrid and Tucson PHEV plug-in hybrid trade on, thrift is far from their defining trait. For starters, both compact SUVs share the non-hybrid Tucson's updated for 2025 angular and expressive exterior styling, competitive list of standard safety and tech features, and quiet and composed ride. But thanks to their electric assist and standard all-wheel drive, the Tucson Hybrid and PHEV move with a bit more alacrity in their step than the standard Tucson. The Hybrid is rated at 231 horsepower and the PHEV 261 horses, increases of 44 and 74 horsepower, respectively, over the standard Tucson on top of both delivering significantly better fuel economy. They're also easy on the ears, as a traditional six-speed automatic eliminates much of the drone associated with continuously variable automatic transmissions used in many hybrid competitors. While the Tucson's five-passenger SUV blueprint is competitive in standard form, the hybrid and PHEV models offer a superior blend of power and efficiency for not a whole lot more money while still managing to be a couple of the most affordable electrically-assisted compact SUVs currently available. What's new for 2025? The Tucson features a new grille design teamed with wider bumpers and streamlined lighting elements front and back. Front and rear decorative skid plates impart a touch of ornamental ruggedness, and new wheel designs add some freshness. Interior tweaks include a pair of optional 12.3-inch displays akin to those found inside other Hyundai models, and the welcome return of several physical buttons for HVAC and audio functions. A new dashboard parcel shelf and a center console with a cubby and an optional wireless charging pad complete the makeover. Under the hood, both models gain a slightly more powerful electric motor, increasing the hybrid's combined horsepower rating to 231 ponies and the PHEV plug-in hybrids to 268. Two new driving modes have been added this year, a user-configurable My Drive mode and Baby mode which dulls throttle response to avoid disturbing your snoozing infant. The plug-in hybrid also gains a green zone mode, which switches the system to pure EV driving. Pricing and which one to buy The price of the 2025 Hyundai Tucson Hybrid is expected to start around $34 and go up to $47 depending on the trim and options. Blue $34,000, EST XRT $38,000, EST. N Line. $39,000, EST. Limited. $43,000, EST. Cell PHEV. $44,000, EST. Limited PHEV. $47,000, EST. Pricing for the 2025 Hyundai Tucson Hybrid and PHEV isn't finalized but we expect moderate increases to accompany the styling updates. Of the available trims, the new for 2025 N-Line trim hits the sweet spot, offering unique 19-inch wheels, sportier front and rear styling treatments, dark chrome exterior accents, a panoramic sunroof, and N-Line badging. The cabin is draped in a combination of cloth and leather upholstery and features a Bose stereo, the new dual-screen infotainment system, and an auto-dimming rear-view mirror. It also comes with Highway Driving Assistant, which is Hyundai's adaptive cruise control system with an integrated lane centering feature. If you're after the PHEV model, it's unfortunately not offered with the N-Line appearance items, but the cell trim's features should satisfy most buyers. Engine, Transmission, and Performance 
A turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder gas engine and an electric motor make a combined 231 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque in the hybrid, or 268 horses and the same torque in the PHEV. Power is funneled through a six-speed automatic transmission and standard all-wheel drive. No, neither of these powertrains will pin your back to the seat, but it is the kind of pep you'll be glad to have at every stoplight and highway on-ramp. In everyday driving, the solid steering, comfy ride, and confident handling complement one of the electrified Tucson's best features, its hushed interior when at cruising speed. 060 MPH times. At our test track, our loaded limited hybrid test vehicle from the 2022 model year managed a 7.1 second run to 60 miles per hour, 1.7 seconds quicker than the 0 to 60 time of the non-hybrid Tucson. With the more powerful electric motor on board, the 2025 could be slightly quicker. The Tucson Hybrid's rival, the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid, did the 60 mph march in 7.3 seconds in our testing. Range, charging, and battery life. Plug-in hybrid Tucson PHEVs use a 13.8 kWh battery pack that delivers an EPA-estimated 33 miles of electric-only driving. A 7.2 kW onboard charger can fully recharge the battery in about 2 hours when connected to a level 2 charging station. Though the Tucson PHEV's total range, how far you can go starting with a full charge and full tank of gas, is good 380 miles highway according to C/D Real World Testing it failed to make our list of the longest range PHEVs we've tested. Fuel economy and real world MPG the EPA estimates that the Tucson Hybrid is good for 38 mpg city and 38 mpg highway, the plug-in hybrid model earned a rating of 80 mpg combined and delivered 33 miles of electric-only driving in the EPA's test. The gas-only Tucson is rated for 23 mpg city and 29 mpg highway in all-wheel drive and 25 30 seconds in front-wheel drive, either way, the hybrids take a decisive win in EPA-estimated fuel efficiency. However, on our 75 mph highway fuel economy route, the hybrid model delivered just 28 mpg, landing a full 10 mpg below its EPA estimated 38 mpg. We haven't tested the plug-in hybrid on our route yet. For more information about the Tucson Hybrid's fuel economy, visit the EPA's website. Interior, Comfort and Cargo Hyundai's design department has proved itself adept at creating modern interiors for affordable offerings, and the Tucson doesn't disappoint. Its uncluttered dashboard design is refreshed for 2025 with a pair of optional 12.3-inch screens one for the instrument panel and one for infotainment and some much-appreciated physical switchgear for HVAC and volume-slash-tuning control. Otherwise, the Tucson continues the dark texture with bright accents theme with success. The cabin makes a comfortable space for four adults, and we were able to fit nine carry-on suitcases behind the second row seats. With the second row seats folded, luggage capacity rose to 22 bags. Infotainment and Connectivity Hyundai has updated the Tucson's tech for 2025 with a larger 12.3-inch infotainment screen as standard and the reappearance of some physical buttons and knobs for quicker, more intuitive access to core functions. Upper trim levels come with a new two screens in one dashboard layout, which replaces the Tucson Hybrid's analog gauge cluster with a 12.3 inch display. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are standard across the range, and the center console includes an available wireless charging pad. Buyers need to step up to the N line or limited trim for extras like Bose Premium Audio. Other high tech offerings include Hyundai's digital key smartphone app which provides lock and unlock features as well as an option for remote start. Safety and driver assistance features A host of driver assistance features are available, many of which come standard. For more information about the hybrid Tucson's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS, websites. Key safety features include Standard automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection. Standard lane departure warning and lane keeping assist. 
available adaptive cruise control with a lane centering feature. Warranty and maintenance coverage. In the compact SUV market, only one rival offers as much warranty coverage as the Tucson Hybrid, and that's its corporate cousin, the Kia Sportage Hybrid. The Hyundai still holds an advantage over the Kia in this area, though, thanks to its generous complementary scheduled maintenance program. Limited warranty of 5 years or 60,000 miles. Powertrain warranty covers 10 years or 100,000 miles. Complementary maintenance covers 3 years or 36,000 miles.